Hello class 5 students. How are you all? Keeping well, I suppose, right? And completing your homework, completing your CW. Hmm? Now, uh, last class we have already completed science chapter 1, circulatory system. Now, today we are going to start with a new chapter. Science, the skeletal system. That means the topic name is skeletal system, human body. Second chapter, okay? Subtopic, what we will learn today? Bones, skull, limbs, backbone. I repeat, bones, skull, limbs and backbone. So today's topic is this, okay? So let's begin. Now, we have already learned that in circulatory system, there are different parts and organs which help us for the transportation of uh, materials like we can say water, uh, gases and then nutrients and it moves to all parts of the body, right? And the circulation of blood takes place. Now the second part which we are going to do this uh, today is the human body, skeletal system. Now what do you understand by this term skeletal system? What is the knowledge you have? Our body structure which is uh, covered by muscles, bones, all the things are there, all the organs are there. Internal organs are protected through what? With the help of skeletal system. That is the main thing, right? Now, in this skeleton system, what we will see, there are uh, different um, types of bones and its functions, okay? Like we will see uh, skull, we will see limbs, then you will see joints, You we will talk about muscles. So, there are different types of uh, bones and its functions related to skeletal system, okay? Now, the first thing what we need to know is about skull, the upper part, skull, okay? Then we will talk about limbs. Now limbs, two parts. Limbs divided into two parts. What are those two parts? Four limbs and four limbs and hind limbs. See here, limbs, four limbs and hind limbs. Once we complete this, then we will see backbone. Okay, we will talk about backbone. Today we will do till this much. Now I'll show you in the uh, laptop and we will go through the chapter from there. Okay, come with me. So, let's begin with the chapter, The Skeletal System. The Skeletal System Group of organs working together make up a body system like the circulatory system that controls the supply of blood in the body. In this chapter, we are going to learn about the skeletal system. Our skeleton we know that our body has different types of bones in it. The bones together form a framework called the skeleton. The skeletal system is a rigid framework of bones that serves many important functions. Here you will see that it provides support, shape and strength to the body. Okay, And it also protects the internal organs. The skeleton protects the delicate internal organs such as the brain, the heart and the lungs. It gives shape to our body. It also allows movement of our body. When we are born, our skeleton has around 350 bones. When we become an adult, our body has around 206 bones. This is because 
as we grow some of the bones join together with the growth of our body more cells increase in our bones and our bones become longer than earlier so here what we see is that uh, the movement that takes place in our body like walking running writing holding hopping jumping whatever you say this is only because of this system and the main part is the bone now there are 206 bones in an adult human body whereas when we are born we have 350 bones okay and the total frame work of all bones together is known as skeleton okay bones bones contain blood vessels and nerves bones have an outer layer of hard or compact bones which is very strong dense and tough but inside they have a layer of spongy bones which is lighter and slightly flexible in the middle of some bones is a jelly like substance called bone marrow in the bone marrow the new cells are constantly produced for the blood if broken they repair themselves in several weeks so here we see the different parts related to bones like veins blood vessels arteries nerves which we have already done in circulatory system also we have seen spongy bone and bone marrow okay now bones already explained to you now we need to know the other parts related to the skeletal system our skeleton is made up of the skull the backbone the rib cage the two pairs of limbs and their girdles to which they are attached the skull the skull is the bony framework of the head it protects our sensitive brain there are spaces in it for our eyes ears nose and mouth there are eight bones in our skull that are interlocked with each other and make the protective frame around the brain there are 14 facial bones which make the upper and lower jaws and other facial structures the lower jaw bone is the only movable bone in the face it enables us to talk eat etc so the skull is what it is the bony framework of the head okay it protects and it covers the brain and it gives shape to the face now the skull consists of 22 bones where we see eight bones make up a protective frame around the brain and the remaining 14 bones make up the upper jaw and the lower jaws okay and the other facial structures now there is a little exceptional what is that the lower jaw it is movable rest are all immovable okay the spine or backbone our backbone has 33 small bones called vertebrae that form a very strong column known as the vertebral column or the spinal column spine the vertebrae can move slightly through the joints so we can bend or twist our back there is a hole in each vertebrae through which the delicate spinal cord passes the spinal cord is protected by the vertebral column so the backbone is also known as the vertebral column or spine and it consists of 33 irregularly shaped bones small bones okay vertebrae and are placed uh, one above the other to make a vertebral column okay now these bones are uh, make a strong framework which protects the spinal cord actually these bones are protecting our spinal cord and the vertebral column enables us to stand 
upright and maintain the balance. So we can stand and we can hold ourselves only because of this backbone. Let's see. Next. The limbs. Our arms are the upper limbs attached to the spine by means of the shoulder girdle made up of the shoulder blades and collar bones. It consists of three parts, the arm, the forearm and the hand. The arm is the region between the shoulder and elbow. It consists of a single long bone called the humerus. The forearm is the region between the elbow and the wrist. It consists of two long bones connected firmly to the humerus. The hand consists of three parts, wrist, palm and fingers. The humerus is the longest bone in our upper limb. So what we see here, human beings have two pairs of limbs. The first is four limbs or the arms and the second one is hand limbs or the legs. Okay. Now we are talking about four limbs. Four limbs is further uh, divided into two parts one is the upper arm and the second one is lower arm the upper arm has a single bone long bone called humerus whereas the lower arm has two long parallel bones okay those are called ulna and radius which is not mentioned here but i am telling you it is called ulna and radius you will find it in your book also Humerus is joined to ulna and radius at the elbow. So the long bone at the upper part is humerus which is attached or joined with ulna and radius and many small bones together join to make what the wrist. Okay. Four limbs along with the muscles and joints provide us to move movement of the arms it helps in the movement of the arms and to perform various activities like write eat hold things etc we can use our hand palm fingers okay next the lower limbs legs are composed of the bones of the thigh leg and foot now hind limbs or the legs they are also divided into two parts, okay? The upper and the lower leg. Upper you will see the thigh bone, which is called femur, present in the upper leg and is the longest bone. And the lower leg has two parallel bones again, long and two parallel bones called tibia and fibula, okay? Now femur is joined to tibia and fib uh, fibula at the knees. And there are small bones joined together to make up what? Ankle and the foot. Now four limbs or the legs, whatever you say. Along with the muscles and joints provide us to move our legs and to help us to perform different activities like to walk, to run, to stand, to jump, to hop, whatever. Okay. And this femur, which is the strongest bone and the Longest one, both uh, helps to support the body weight. Okay, because of this, uh, the it gets the support. Body gets the uh, support, and body can do the different activities. Okay, so today till this much. Now next class, I'll teach you more about this chapter. So we have learnt about skull limbs and backbone hmm? now i'll give you hw see page number 17 look here hw page 1717 terms to know terms to know from question number 1 to 4 1 to Four. You will write in CW copy. I repeat chapter 2 homework page number 17 terms to know uh, from 1 to 4 questions you will write in CW copy. 
here we come to the end of the first part i will come with the next topic in the next class till then bye bye take care